Ready? Um, so happy with this win. So happy to be at home, back at home. You know, we have two games um, at home before we go on, on our Thanksgiving um, holiday tournament. And just really pleased with the effort of this group. It was a really hard, um, you know, adverse game. You know, Fordham, we, we knew coming to this game that they were a really tough team. Um, and, you know, we knew it was going to be a, a battle because they, they play, they have a great coach and, you know, great scheming and, and all that good stuff. So we knew it was going to be a really physical game. And I thought we responded to that. Um, we got a little lull, I think, in the third quarter, but found a way. I thought we were really gritty um, and we played together. And I feel like we, we, so many people gave so many incredible contributions. So I'm so, I'm so pleased with this group. For this is my first time going 4-0. Um, and, you know, I, I love to just celebrate all the, the small victories. And, again, I just feel like we're growing together as a unit. And I'm so, I'm so um, encouraged by, by what, we, what we do game in and game out. Um, I was just taking what they were giving me, and my teammates were doing a really good job of finding me, and I was feeling it, so I was just letting it go. I knew they were going to make adjustments, but it doesn't matter because this team is so dangerous. We're, we're so good on all areas of the floor. Like That didn't matter at all. It wasn't going to bother me. Um, in the second half, we adjusted to their physicality and what they changed. Uh, you know, They started switching a little bit on our guards, roughed us up a little bit, but we powered through, and I'm really, really proud of this team. She just amazes me every day because this is really hard and this is not meant for everybody. And she sh she shows mental and physical toughness uh, every single day. And she's just learning and growing and this is the best place to do it. Sonia, I imagine like the majority of Division One players, you probably never not started. Uh, would you like to come off the bench at least temporarily? And, and how do you keep yourself ready for at whatever time you're going to be called? Because I think it's going to hit once. Yeah, I mean, I just I try to always stay ready just to come in, and I have the first five that are starting. They're just I love looking up to them and just seeing them play on the court. I just like to just come in and do whatever I can to help the team. So. Are you surprising yourself so far? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. I mean, I just try to do whatever I can to help. So I'm just happy that I'm able to help the team win. <laughs> stacking these victories because they were kind of hard to stack last year. Yeah, that's huge. Um, but I think it just it comes from all of us believing uh, in ourselves and in one another. Uh, we're very grateful that we're 4-0 and it puts us in a great place, like she said, going into the Thanksgiving tournament. Um, and it's just it's it's a mirror of uh, what we put in in the off season individually and then putting it together as a unit. And I can't see, I can't wait <laughs> to see what this team does the rest of the <laughs> season. Sonia, we talked about acclimating to college basketball. What's been the, the biggest, or maybe the hardest jump for you to play four games now? Uh, done a little bit of everything in all four of those games, but uh, I'm sure it's something that's kind of stuck to you. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, this isn't high school basketball. Yeah, um, I mean, definitely the physicality of the girls and the speed of the game, just adjusting to that because it was definitely not this like fast-paced in high school. Um, but I've had the best, the coaches, players, and they've really helped me adjust to this game. So I'm just, I'm lucky to have them. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'm sure it's not what you want to see happen, but what would you say to her you collectively and Olivia could have obviously had the offense that she did without the victory? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the group, um, you know, having Dara back up the point. It's almost like point guard by committee um, if, if Liv goes out. And it just it's very, um, you know, 
hopeful and encouraging to know that if she does go out, you know, our starting point guard, then we can have um, a lot of people step up in different positions and, and help us really get into our flow offensively. Um, so that's been great to see. And I feel like Dara has really take, taken, a, taken a huge jump from last year running the point. She's very comfortable this year, you can tell. Um, but again, just, you know, everybody basically trying to take the pressure off just, just Dara and everyone trying to contribute um, to get us in the offense. I think Maddie helped us break in the press and just getting us in the offense because she's, she's a post, but she's also basically almost a versatile guard. So we have a lot of options. You know, Sonia can get us into the offense. And with the flow of our offense, it's just great to see so many people step up when, um, when our point guard's in foul trouble. You know what? I just feel like she's um, – I, I knew that she was going to come in and be a special player. I knew she was going to make immediate impact. Um, so I'm personally not surprised by it, but I just love that the pace of the game, the physicality of the game, um, she's been able to transition very well and very easy in college because you never know how that's going to be. She played um, – she was, you know, Gatorade – player of the year in New York you know she dominated in high school USA basketball but you never know how it's going to translate in college um, so I'm just really happy that you know she's a type of player that has no fear she comes in with a ton of confidence and to be honest like she's probably one of the um, best IQ high IQ players that I've seen as a freshman um, so that says a lot because I've been around a lot of really good um, freshmen you know with Skyler I think she's in that category as far as the way she thinks the game um, she plays so relentlessly on both sides of the ball. You know, she can do, she can um, defend and she can rebound, but she also has great vision. You see her passing and she can score. So, um, and she's so unselfish. That's what I love about her. She's always about the team. It's never about herself. Um, and so I think she's just going to be a bright spot for our program. And then uh, lastly for me, uh, I think they got it down to seven. Yes. Yeah, I just wanted to say for them to ha say poised, um, and it's 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 good for us to have to go through that, especially last year um, not being not being able to close out fourth quarters. Um, I feel like we're so much so much more improved in in that regards. Um, so I, I you know I just I have so much belief and so much confidence in this group that I've just felt like okay, um, you know if we got into single digits, we got to find a way fight you know to get it back and to extend our lead. But I I have a ton of confidence in this group and. Um, we have good synergy amongst each other, so I'm just happy we found a way. Um, I thought Sonia's three was a dagger. Um, she had a dagger three that really gave us a lot of momentum and a lot of energy, and I thought Maddie really stepped up the entire game. When we needed a bucket, Maddie delivered, as always. So it, w it was great. Um, but, again, I feel like it's just that belief and confidence in this group that we'll find a way together. In the second half, was it just a matter of Fordham kind of executing what they want to do, being pesky on the perimeter, making it a half-court game, and Relentless defensively, or was there something that uh, you think your team could have done a little more to, you know, push the flow? And uh, I mean, you scored 42 points in the first half, mm -hmm. and I think 29 in the second half. So was that more of what they were doing, or did you want to see more out of your team? Yeah, I think it was more of what they were doing to us. Um, we we struggled getting stops, and their offense is really is really good. And um, I thought, you know, they have a lot of weapons. I think their point guard really gets them going. Um, the Wolf, she she. You know, she's just a she's just a great scorer, and I felt like it, they kind of got us in a half court game, and that's not our game. You know, we need to get stops and run, and we didn't get a chance to do that in the third quarter. Uh, I thought we started off, and I think we were like 0 for three um, as far as executing, and um, that really slowed us down. And it took us a minute to really get back into our up and down game. Um, but I think that's just part of their plan for us was to kind of slow the game down, and that's just doesn't play in our hands. So I was happy that. We kind of got some stops and, and got a chance to run, got a couple easy baskets. That really boosts our um, momentum and our energy. But I felt like um, we we kind of got into defensively. We didn't get a chance to do what we needed to do, and they executed really well. With Maya, we've seen her score 20-plus points multiple times. And yeah. Then, you know, a night like tonight where she only has five, but she has 11 rebounds. I'm just curious how you would define success for her. Is it – you know, is a game like this where it's kind of lower scoring and she gets 11 rebounds, is that a successful night for her? Or would you like to see her, you know, have double-doubles, uh, find more of a middle ground consistently? Yeah, I think she's a she's a double-double type player. And I felt like we missed her a lot, unfortunately. I felt like she was open. We didn't get a chance to really give her the ball when she was open. I felt like they were trying to play off of her a little bit. And uh, I think kind of um, they're – 
just the way they defend. They're kind of saggy man, um, trying to clog up the lane. I know that they were worried about her. Um, but I thought she played through it. I know she probably felt a little bit frustrated. She got some good looks. Um, she had a couple free throw jumpers. Those, to me, like she's been working on that shot. I think those are fall. Um, so it wasn't our night offensively, but I did feel like as a team, we can do a better job of giving her, um, getting her some looks when she's one on one on the block because she does a great job of posting. Um, so we'll work on that and get better at that. But again, um, her presence on the floor is is major, and she got 11 rebounds. I thought she had a couple really good blocks, and just the fact that she's there, she's a rim protector, and I feel like she's just her presence is what we need, and um, we're gonna get her some looks on Sunday. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like when we need a bucket, I'm going to go to her. Um, she delivers. Um, she's not shy to be the one that, to take the big shot. Um, yeah, I thought she was I thought she was solid today. Um, she played a both minutes, 36 minutes at 18 points. Um, and again, in the second half, when we really needed a bucket, we went we went to her and she delivered. But she's that player for me. You know, she was that, that that player for me last year. Um, and, you know, I trust her and she's been working so hard. So it's it's fun just to see her. Um, you know, get, go out there and um, produce the way that she's been producing and been consistent. Any other yep. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. 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 See you, Katie. <laughs>